<clears throat> so, I want to make this video my voice is hoarse from all the yelling and all my, and, and all my other videos. But I need y'all to listen to me. If there's anybody who can help us and who want to know about the demons that these people got. All right. Please listen closely. When I was in the back of the jail, Cynthia Vera tried to put so many demons in me. When she came in my body, when she did the out of body experience, the inmates in the jail that was giving me the poison trays. They spirits came into me when Cynthia's spirit got in my body that day. After I told them that Jehovah was helping me. I remember Cynthia's spirit and the white male, bald headed inmates, and all of them white males, inmates, that was serving me those trays in the back of that jail. And the ones that was walking around, cleaning up stuff all by myself. And Keanu Wiley. When I was over, when I was laying on the floor in that shitter cell, they ended up having me. When I woke up on the floor with the purple veins all over my body while I was still lying on the floor, this, her spirit had brought so much, so many wicked, these people, spirits. And there was black men that just wanted to kill me. She had spirits of black men. But I'm going to go back to the ones in the cell. Even when they brought me back, she still kept trying to get in my body. Even after God kept saying no. My stomach is hurting me while I'm walking and trying to tell y'all what's going on. But I need to tell y'all that they go, they got this light set up so where it's not really a red light or a green light. It's these red stops where they can just stop and watch and stop and watch. But whatever, I'm not going to, I don't care about that. I don't care about what they do anymore. As far as this, uh, anything God said, resist the devil. So anyway... When I was in the back of the jail, um, I remember she had they, these white, um, oh yeah, the black men. Cause they had me in the cell. They did it to me in the cell. And they did it when I got back in the cell. But before they did it, now I remember more clearly. Before they did it, I was sitting in the cell and said the spirit came. And when she did, when she flew in there, I didn't see her, but I heard her. And I told the guards I couldn't breathe, I lied. Cause Cynthia was in there, talking about she was finna do a death ritual on me. Talking about she needed a body, she was sick. And then telling me, uh, basically, that she was, they're gonna kill you, that's what she said. She was like, uh, she said, if you let me get in your body, 
um, I can show you how to live and I can I can tell you what to say and what to do so they'll let you survive. So they won't kill you, but you gotta keep your mouth shut. And you shouldn't even I kept saying stuff that she was telling me not to say. And she was trying to trick me and make me think that if I let her stay in my body, that she'd really help me to make it out of jail alive. But then she was doing wickedness though. There was a game. And so um, she said uh, she got in my body, but she wanted me to let her stay there. And it was, it felt horrible. It just, to have her violate me like that. And I didn't ask her or give her permission to do it. So she was in there. And while she was in there, I was afraid. As I sat there on the cell bed, and I was sitting there, like, when you sit it straight up like that, I was sitting there with Cynthia in my body. Give me a minute, y'all, because I need to go detail for detail with this. And Cynthia was talking while she was in my body. And she made me feel so small because she violated me like that. It made me feel like I didn't have control over my own body while she was in it. And then I said, uh, uh, hold on, let me, give me a minute. Sean. So she was sitting there in my body and she started telling me stuff. Something about her and Joseph being child molesters. And she said, oh, that's why me and Joseph raped your baby or something like that. Let me go back. Y'all give me a minute. And I'm on Cascade Road by the West End just in case there's anybody watching who can do something. She said, when she was sitting there in my body, Father God, help me, Jesus. Remember, I'm on every word she said. She said, that she needed a body and that she was gonna put Joseph's spirit in my son in Melbourne or Austin. She said her, Austin and Joseph. Yeah, and these black gang members are mean mugging me. Get behind me, Satan. And he was looking at me like he's trying to square up with me. But, and the other one just, there's another one walking towards me. And he just looked at me like he was gonna square up with me, but he trying to sound in the background, like he trying to holler. Resist the devil and he shall flee. So, back to Cynthia being in my body. And back to her saying that her and Joseph and Austin needed a body. And how she said they all was raping my son for the Illuminati. They said that she told me and showed me on the floor through witchcraft while I was in this segregated housing unit and while she was in my body. Devil horns on my son, the same color floor as that jail. So whatever color floor that jail is, is hell because of what they do and what they have done. In that jail floor, I saw my son. 
at very tender ages with devil horns on his head. And I knew that I could not trust Cynthia. I knew because how crazy Austin was and how sorry they was when I went over there and they was arguing and living with each other all fat and nasty like that and they talk about how much money they had and how much I didn't have and I already knew not to trust white people. But back to what Cynthia said while she was in my body in that jail cell. I saw devil horns on my child. And I just want to say, y'all can try to intimidate me, ride around, try to kill me, whatever you want to do. I already made the choice that I will die for my child. And y'all know that because God told y'all that in the jail when you did it. So I'm not afraid of none of y'all. You can pull out your guns and go and get some bussing instead of doing all this riding around hollering because y'all know I don't give a damn about y'all and y'all don't give a damn about me or my kids. So Cynthia showed me my son on the floor with devil horns on his head at very tender ages in Pampa on all fours giving Austin oral sex. And Austin right there letting my baby do it. But let me go back to when they first took me in that cell. The black Freemasons all said that they had sex with Austin and that they would rape my baby. But let me go back to Cynthia. Cynthia showed me my baby giving Austin oral sex and with Austin letting them do it for this gang. And the gang that they under is the white brotherhood, the satanic white brotherhood. And my baby daddy is white. That's why they needed all these black men to come out the woodworks to try to cover up what his race was because they having sex with these white men too. And they in these gangs and they follow me around like, I'm scared. I've been done already saying whatever it is, I'm telling the truth. Cause I ain't in it. I just walk past them and let them keep on trying to create the distractions like I'm doing something while they sitting around plotting on people and their children and getting exposed for the shit. Back to what else they said. See, I used to let it work on me and film them while I was trying to tell on them. And that's how they get people to look all crazy on the internet so they can take them somewhere and murder them and do all these pedophile shit to their children. And they know I'm telling on them. They said that they was gonna cut my tongue out because I told everything. I done already said enough about these folks that it, I said in their face. I don't care. All right, so now I'm gonna calm down. Now by telling y'all they following me and swarming all around me, thinking that that's gonna stop me from telling and focusing on them and maybe get somebody to distract me. And I'm gonna go into real good details about how many demons and legions these folks is walking around with because they did this to these children and because they said they were gonna do this to these children and why they have to try to kill us to cover it up. They no amount of money in the world was worth it. And we gonna get into why they did it and how much trouble they in now and why we don't why I don't give a fuck about dying and to expose them if they gonna kill me I'm not gonna be quiet about this shit y'all shouldn't have touched them kids bro all these grown ass women that they got going up under the knife and they out here molesting people children but out of witchcraft just to make just to make God mad and to make us mad that's why they did it and that's why they said they was gonna do it and then think they gonna be riding around up in my face where they got me set up somewhere with somebody that think they gonna have their turn to gang rape me. And it don't matter which street I turn on to make this video, but I'm not gonna let no devils get behind my path, get, get behind me Satan. 
because that's exactly the spirit that they have in them. That antichrist spirit that they, that God said not to play with, and they walking around with it, and they can't get it out. And that's what I'm gonna tell y'all about. They in trouble, man. All right. So the spirit. So Cynthia said while she was in my body, she said she was dying and that she was the grand witch. I don't know how this lady got me to fuck her son and have a baby by him and steal him for the Illuminati and be over there talking about her and Joseph raping him and trying to put spirits in him. And everybody knowing about it. And they done used me as a fucking mule and I had never given birth to a child before. And they done took my virgin baby and gave them over to this homosexual agenda at 22 months old and tried to murder me for him in my home and use his own father to do it. And then he is Caucasian and they are out here following me around. I ain't got no protection, nothing on me but God. Then they trying to make it seem like I'm running out in the streets and all of that shit. I'm not scared of these people, man. So while Cynthia was in my body, she said she was the grand, she was the grand witch. She made it seem like she was the biggest witch in charge of everything. And she was like, she was the grand witch and that she needed a new body. And she said, she showed me on the floor. The floor was moving with all the sexual abominations. Austin, my son, was giving head to his father. And these people know why I'm looking at them like this. Why they trying to be all up in my mouth. And this is what Cynthia showed me. And Lord, keep me calm, cause y'all see they over here beeping horns and trying to attack me spiritually while I'm out here trying to tell. Thinking they gonna cover. Now nah, it ain't about that, they, it's about Satan. It's good, it's about going ahead and exposing Satan. Cynthia is Satan, God damn it. Her and Joseph and Austin for what she showed me on that floor. And got everybody trying to pull it all up in front of me. And they did this to 200 and something people. And these people dead. And they run around with these people's children. And then thinking they're going to be quiet about it. Because they got them demons in them that they can't get out. Because they done did wickedness with these folk for that money. And God is mad at them. And God didn't take the demons out of them. But he took them out of me when she tried to put them in me. And they were out here scared because them demons were starting to threaten me while they was in me. And I know why my people all run around like goddamn stupid animals with all them demons in their ass that they did this shit for. Thinking to play with God. And I know thou damn well not to do it. They can get up there and preach and holler about everything. They can fight and stu be stupid all in the street. They can shoot up people. They can rape people, children. They can do whatever they want to do. But then they want to sit over there and try to act like I'm doing something to somebody for telling the truth about what they did. So let me go back to Cynthia. While all these old nasty uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt ass black men is preying on me. They don't care. You know they nasty devils. They demons. Because the devil, they know who that is. And that's who I'm exposing, who they was worshiping when they committed these crimes on these kids and thought God wasn't going to tell. When you went for my child, when you took my child, when you tried to kill my baby, then you messed with the wrong one. And then I had the nerve to think that all y'all were going to set me up on the goddamn streets. So don't he mail me with his side arm and Gamora ass. That's all this country is. If that's it, ain't nothing left. Ain't nothing left. And then they got the nerve to still be walking around like that. All right, let me calm down. So I was sitting down just like this in the cell and the floor was kind of like this color in the back of the jail. And Cynthia was in my body and the floor started moving. 
and, sh and I seen the devil horns, and my son was giving oral sex to Austin. And then Cynthia said, um, then Cynthia said, Joseph, Joseph said to that he was putting his, his, he was putting his head in between my son behind and doing all this stuff. And Cynthia did it just like this. She said, this is what I did to your son. That's what she said. And she kept doing it, saying she did that to his bottom while I was back there. And she was in my body. And I know they want to try to say, um, I'm talking crazy, but I'm going to finish telling. Because it is crazy. And that's why they're not going to sit around and think they're going to plot and murder me for no gang molesting children. And then try to cover it up for the damn people who enslaved us. For the devils that enslaved us. How dare these people. But let me go on on ahead and finish. So Cynthia said she did all this stuff to my son. And then on top of that, Cynthia said that get behind me, Satan. Cynthia then showed me the Conroe, I seen the Conroe police. She showed me her bringing my baby up to that jail and the Conroe police showed me they spirit in it and the Conroe police was in the demon legion too and the Conroe police said the white women showed me them bringing my baby up into a sex room on top of the jail. This is, he's trying to come over here and listen for these devils and then smiling in my face. And they all swarming around. They got us surrounded. All these damn pedophiles. They're trying to make it seem like I'm in their neighborhood causing a disturbance. Why they keep setting me up all over the United States to molest my baby. So let me finish telling you. On the video, someone please help us. You will see a picture of Cynthia Overa. Cynthia Einkoff, Einkoff Overa. And she was in my body. That's why all these people is out here. Cause they work for Cynthia. This damn grand witch. How dare these wicked ass folk. So let me tell you. Cynthia, now he walking out from the bus stop. Now that he made me walk out from where I was sitting down, his evil black ass just walked out from the bus stop. But gonna come trying to mess with me and sit down like he finna get on the bus. Told you, man, he for a wiki, bruh. So, Cynthia. The, the Conroe police, she showed me the Conroe police, and her and the Conroe police showed me they was in the Legion of Demons. And they showed me uh, Cynthia and Austin bringing my baby up to the jail in some type of sex room. My precious little boy, his innocence. I feel like I'm about to really lose this baby now. He was a virgin. He didn't have AIDS when he was born. He didn't have that nasty herpes shit. He was so precious. And all these drunks and disgusting faggots and old nasty fat Mexicans and old nasty gang green pussy pedophile white women and nasty sell out dick sucking black women nasty taught of pussy Mexican women want to sit over and tell me that was molesting my child while they had me back there 10 months and you know what I'll clip the video I'll clip the video because I know they want me being hateful and trying to say I'm hateful to all of these people. But I'm not going to let them violate me like that. 